For Child Life Month, we'd like to walk you through a memory-making activity that we do with our families and our patients. Memory and legacy items are a huge part of our role as Child Life Specialists to provide children um, of adult patients, siblings, family members, everyone who's important to our patient, um, a piece of them that will last forever and something that they can always hold on to. So one of the things we do a lot with memory making is handprints. We'll do canvas art and do handprint trees and also customize um, the memory making and handprints to the family's interest and things like their favorite animals or favorite football team. They give us a lot of ideas. So we've all come up with some creative ideas over the years and continue to learn more from them and have learned a lot of great creative ideas over the years. So when we introduce this topic, I often will um, give the family options, show them pictures of some of the other artwork that other families have created, encourage them to go online or on Pinterest or something like that and find something that resonates with them or if there's a quote. We've had many families use the Ohana quote from Lilo and Stitch and it comes out amazing. But for today's purpose, we're going to demonstrate how to make Handprint elephants, it seems very elementary, but it actually comes out really amazing. So we use this sterile rubber stamp ink to help capture the lines and fingerprints and handprints, sometimes even infant footprints of our families and patients that we work with to create an individual masterpiece. And it becomes a beautiful keepsake and they don't even realize they're making it. So here we go, we're going to put Emily's hand on the Savannah right here. And in order to get a great print, you really have to roll the fingers. But then when we lift up, one, two, three, you get an amazing detailed handprint that can also be made into jewelry as well. Oftentimes we'll frame these for our families through the support of our generous donors, as well as just giving families opportunities for other memory making. We're going to paint our next family member's handprint and even when a patient is nonverbal at end of life, we let the child pick their favorite color and gives them a sense of control during this. So it can be done at any time throughout a patient's admission with community hospice or community peds care. But it also represents the fact that you don't have to be a certified art therapist to create some really cool memory making pieces. We are child life specialists. Clearly we are not art therapists by our activities that you see here, but we are creative and let our families be creative in helping to make these legacy items they'll have forever. Okay, one, two, three, up. Oh. Nice, there we go. So then we go in, after we do our handprints, we go in and really encourage the families or the patient to add the details in themselves. So we're gonna start with our little tail of our elephant, give it a little bit here, eye. And then we have our little squiggles. And our feet. 